Hello everybody, welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic. Today we are taking the fight to the enemies of the Emperor. I'm 4040 and uh, well we are at the end of turn 7 so I'm just going to click end turn and see what happens. Admiral Spire. Yes, Inquisitor. Gather every vessel you can and travel to Orm's world at once. You must stop Abaddon, whatever the cost. He is searching for an ancient artifact known as the Eye of Night. Do not let the despoiler claim this relic, Admiral. May the Emperor guide your guns, and may the heretics feel his wrath! Uh, holy shit! Oh, damn, the Eye of Night is, is something which is really big in the lore. Ho, ho, ho. Abaddon the Despoiler has launched an attack against the Orm's world system. I believe that what he truly wants is to seize another artifact of power known as the Eye of Night. Yep. Admiral Spire, <laughs> you will take command of the assault force to break the chaos siege of Orm's world. It is crucial we keep this relic out of Abaddon's hands. Cool. All right, we've got a new type of mission, the Planetary Assault. Now, apparently they're, they're which fate the systems are dependent, uh, and you get uh, capture points will spawn around the map, and the attacker has to reach these in a set time. And the defender has to either physically block the ships or blow up the enemy ships or stop them from getting to these capture points and sitting in them for a set amount of time. So that's, that's how they work. Um, yeah, the Hand of Night. We've already stopped him getting hold of uh, one of the other artifacts, but the Hand of Night is the second artifact that Abaddon, in the storyline, bear in mind that this is the game playthrough and things might be a little bit different but in the original fluff uh, storyline let's have a go to port more for a second in the storyline abaddon manages to get hold of several very powerful artifacts um one of them being the hand of night and it allows him to get access to the alien technology of the black stone fortresses uh, do i have enough xp for his upgrade i do hey nice Right, you get an upgrade. You are a slow field one, so we do like using you, and we are going to be using you because of, um, and we're going to need you to be mobile. Uh, speed improved by 25, but a critical damage on the engine deactivates the special maneuver. Uh special maneuvers oh okay speed maneuvers will not reveal the ship anymore speed the combustion gauge for special maneuvers is improved by 25% I like oh yeah 25% more use on the fast go faster tab I think would be useful now this is just for this upcoming mission it's a pretty important mission and we're going to need ships that are, are quite mobile, I feel. So, because we've got to make these capture points. So let's see if we can... Let's see what we can do. Um, yeah. Um, I've heard of these missions, and they the can be... The Chaos forces have butchered the inhabitants of Orn's world. Both humans and the native ratlings. We have organized a large assault fleet to take back Orn's world from the enemy and to secure the Eye of Night on the planet's surface. My agents report that the relic is still here. We must move quickly. Admiral Spire, your orders are to escort the assault force and break through the chaos defenses around Orn's world. All right. This situation is critical for the Gothic sector. Therefore, I will personally lead the planetary assault from your ship's command deck. Okay. Cool, we've got an Inquisitor on the on board our ship. That's nice. Right, let's launch this mission. Uh, aim of the game, uh, I think I'm an attacker, Chaos Defender, so I've got to get to these capture points. Still only 300 points. So I'm only taking two ships no matter what. 
because all of my light cruisers are 105 points. So I'd only be able to take three of them if they're. Oh damn. Um, I'm gonna go with the dictator because of the slow field more than anything else. I'm picking these because of their tactical equipment, not necessarily because of what the individual ships actually their base ships are. All right, and uh, we don't even have enough to buy an escort ship, so we've got to do an attack. Fuck. Okay, so this ship. The reason why I picked this ship. You got a slow field to fuck the uh, fuck with the defenders, and we got a micro warp jump, which means that this ship is more mobile. It's still the, the dictator has a micro warp jump as well, but it's a mobile ship. And if enemies get close, I've got quite a bit of close range firepower that uh, I've upgraded down there. Um, I've also got the auxiliary uh, capacitors, which means that this guy can take a beating. He's designed to get in close, do a lot of damage, and he's a bit more tankier than the dictator would be. The dictator's more of a standoff. And the Dauntless I've picked is this is the Dauntless with the slow field and the improved engines, which I think is going to make a difference. The ability to, to have that engine burn on. The Imperial forces on Orn's world will not be able to hold out against the enemy much longer. You have to hurry, Admiral. Inquisitor, our fleet should push the Chaos ships away from the planet's orbit so the counter-invasion transports can land. Agreed, Admiral. The Imperial forces will also need orbital fire support once we've finished the fighting in space. A few lance strikes will put these traitors off balance. Understood, Inquisitor. Okay. Let's send these heretics back to the Eye of Terror. So Indeed, it's... Admiral. There's some... Looks like there's some chaos uh, defensive platforms... Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to deploy kind of near the middle really I've only got two ship deploys I in the cutscene it looked like I had more ships I think they are the NPC ships and we're going to have to until we until we know what we are doing as a fleet until we know what we're up against, what spawns in, and where these capture points are going to be. I'm just going to move my fleet forward. Uh, we're going to have sh just auto boarding, just as standards, and then we're just going to have to react to as we see fit, I think. So, let's go ready on this one. Okay, the uh, our, our ships, our friendly ships have spawned in. We're kind of hemmed in here. So... Chaos forces have taken control of the planetary defense platforms. Okay. That's fine. We deal with that. Alright, so uh, the first uh, capture point is going to spawn in in one minute and three seconds. So I'm loath to move too far away from the center of the map. Let's just move into the middle. There will be, there are Chaos Forces, you can see the red blips moving from the other side of the map as well, who are also going to be trying to meet us in the centre in a glorious combat. Uh, let's see if we can do much against these. Nope, that was a miss. Huh, okay. That's fine. I just thought I might be able to do... So our allies, we've got, we have an, an Overlord, which is a battle cruiser. Uh, not as a straight cruiser and a dauntless light cruiser also and the overlord seems to be yeah we're, we've got this side of the the flank held down your orders course plotted nope engines hot uh uh oh, that's just slow field oh, that's going to be firing off in 20 something seconds engines to maximum okay you got him out. Something detonated. Received. Something blew the hell up, and I am not sure what. Our friendlies are getting uh, attacked. Changing course. Seven seconds before our capture point is. Admiral Spire. Okay. We have managed to confirm to the it, position boys. of a strategic chaos outpost on the planet. Wiping it off the map 
provides much needed support for the Astra Militarum troops. You must align a ship to the outpost position and bombard. Charge! Now. Right, we've got a minute to get Enemy there. Ship sighted. Helm coordinates acknowledged. We have got a Chaos uh, cruiser close to the bombardment position as well. So I'm going to drop a slow field on it and see if I can pin it in place. So that's stop the bugger. Good. The chaos forces on the planet have been crippled and our troops down there are fighting more fiercely than ever. At your command. Side on. Okay, so we've got the next deployment is in Ship one minute. Ready. I'm going to see if I can Targeting kill this fucker within vessel. one minute. Uh, and we're going to go for his engines. The slower he is, the better. We've taken out his special orders already. He is on a critical damage. Yes, uh, let's see, you. Activating tactical cogitators. Actually, no, not you. Let's just brace for impacts. I need you to survive. I know you're taking a, a bit of a pounding. Awaiting orders. Need to kill this chaos yes, ship. Admiral. Your orders. Cruising speed set. <laughs> we've got his engines and we've got a fire on board of him. That is amazing. Admiral, we've located a new bombard, new bombard position. You if we succeed, over we'll there. deal the chaos forces a heavy blow. We must not let this opportunity slip away. Acquiring new vector. Move. Out of the way, big ship. Yes. Damage, 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 damage. He's trying to jump out. Ship ready. Excellent. Setting course. The chaos forces have taken significant damage. Push on towards the planet. All right. So I am pulling my forces back and together now, and we're not doing too bad. I'm gonna start self-repair for that guy. Now. Reports from the Astra Militarum indicates that many good, chaos good, strongholds good. on the planet have been taken down. We need to keep supporting their troops. Awaiting orders. Let's fire some torpedoes at this earth base. We may as well uh, while we're down here. Awaiting orders. I don't mind you lagging behind a little bit. Let's just get some damage on target. Ship ready. Can we fire? We can fire. It's a bit close for comfort. Can't fire at you. Our battle cruiser is giving uh, the chaos light cruiser a, a bit of a pounding. Yes, Admiral. Your command. We still have yet to use our status fields. Uh, we've got to have a problem if the uh, enemy chaos stronghold is halting the advance of our ground forces. Oh. Get rid of it at once. Your orders. That works, I guess. There isn't any chaos forces anywhere nearby enough to be Your able to orders. help us. Right, you. Underway. You deal with him. Run! Haha, <laughs> we got the station. Yes. Cruising speed. You're okay, I'm gonna save your cruising speed. Awaiting orders. What chaos vessels are around? You're automatically locking on, I don't mind. Changing course. Actually, yeah, you stay Ship kind ready. of around here. We are the Imperial Deal Navy. with that fucker. When he comes in range. 
Oh, he's got fires on board. And we are just about to reach the uh, opponents. Engines to maximum. Stop him. Stop him going. The last chaos position has been retaken. The heretics have been wiped off the place. Yes. Oh, we haven't had cancelled his ships. war. Your valor has Damn earned it. you a place in Imperial yes. history. We are victorious. Now that victory is certain, we need to land on the planet to seize the artifact and ensure it stays protected. Okay. Nice one. Our allies were actually useful. They distracted the Chaos Fleet enough that uh, I managed to deal with the, these uh, capture points. 300 Renown is not bad whatsoever, and we've got a level up on both ships, so I'm happy with that mission. I think we were also lucky with the uh, randomised uh, nature of the uh, spawn-ins for the capture points, because they were all on kind of my side of the map where I was. Congratulations, Admiral. The last remaining Chaos forces are being slaughtered as we speak. Inquisitor, have our troops recovered the artifact? Unfortunately, no. An enemy transport ship has managed to escape with the Eye of Night on board. However, my agents have uncovered the location of a Chaos Space outpost where Abaddon intends to store the Eye of Night. All hopes are not yet lost. All right. So we've got to wait for that mission to spawn in, I guess. We've got one more deploying, uh, remaining deployment, and we're going to go to Portmore to do some leveling up before we have a look to see what's available on the map. So this, so let's have a look. I uh, we want to upgrade these two ships of. Uh... So let's give the crew an upgrade. You are a. I'm tempted to boost the navigator. What we've got, we can upgrade the servitors. Cooldown times reduced. Troop value of the ship is improved. Master gunner. Critical chances. Okay, cool. Military repairs. 15% uh, per level. So if I bump it up another level. Because we really don't want this ship to be lost in the warp. I, uh, I'm going to upgrade the master gunner. But I'm then going to focus on the commissars. Okay, this little guy. You are super useful. I'm going to give you some more gunnery because that's what you do. I am happy. I'm pretty happy with that. That's a nice little upgrade there. We haven't got enough to upgrade any uh, hard points on the ships yet. Okay, so we've got two missions in Portmore. Cruiser Clash versus Imperial and a convoy mission versus uh, Orcs. They're never pleasant. A convoy mission Orcs again and a Cruiser Clash versus Orcs. Um, the thing is, orcs are good at cruiser clashes. We kiting them's not really much of a point. Uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna do an orc cruiser clash. We're gonna test our metal against the alien menace. All right, we have five hundred points, and we've got to make the enemy fleet disengaged. The enemy is comprised of orc ships. All right, so orc ships—they're all about tough frontal armor, ramming, and getting in close. My ships are about tough frontal armor, ramming, and getting in close. So this is going to be a game of dictating range, of forcing the enemy fleet to come at me in bits while I while I stick together so we've got 500 points I'm gonna take my definitely take the dominator and uh, the dictator and we've got 188 so I'm gonna take uh, well who have I got I don't need you uh, we've got a disruption bomb which is shields I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with two ships with the ability to dictate range and a disruption bomb to just pound anything that's in orbit and uh, let's see now these little guys tend not to last too well against orcs because orcs are just very good so I'm gonna leave them and save the 79 points so I'm just gonna go with three ships versus chaos at uh, orcs 
saving those 79 points means we have more points at the end in Renown for our upgrades, which means we can try and stay ahead of the curve when it comes to upgrading Renown and having access to more cruisers and bigger fights as we follow the line of the uh, campaign. Alright, so we've got ahead of us... I can deploy in this circle here and there's a load of fields here that the orcs are going to have to fight through that I can use to defend my flanks. I'm really liking this side just straight off. Let's do that. Okay, so with him I want bombers because orc boarding actions don't do too well. And But we're going to have these guys set up as well. Ready to go. Your range, I'm going to... Why have you got every range selected on you? You're going to be... Uh, I'm going to say broadside. And the range of your weapons is... Actually, I'm going to keep everybody super close together. Let's make everybody broadside at three kilometers. That way... We're in close support of each other. We'll be combining our um, boarding actions with each other. The aim of the game is to cripple the orc's engines. So we're going to move forward to this location. And my thought behind... Okay, we've got a lot of orc moving through here. None of it is in range yet. We're just going to progress forward. Awaiting orders. I don't think no. I don't have any scanners, and my micro jump is on a, a cooldown. At your command. Orders received. Yes, Admiral. May as well send some torpedoes orders down range. Received. Your orders. I think I can nose my way through that wreckage. I don't think it does any damage to me because it's not pulling up uh, anything on the the map where there is a danger where it's a danger zone. Underway. Let's see who we can kill. All right, there's these guys up here. Let's. Uh, I don't know. Let's see if we can. No. No, uh, just out of range, unfortunately. Let's do a, a reload Reloading. on that. There's not much else that we can do. Awaiting orders. We've got a lot of orc coming in that direction, so let's Setting start course. pulling. I'm going to pull them through the asteroid field. Your orders. As long as none of mine move into the asteroid field, I want to trap those bastards in the asteroid field. Now, the orcs are escort heavy. Yes, Admiral. Um, and these guys, oh, they're firing at me. Okay. I'm going to put a slow field down. At your command. Okay, so the torpedoes failed. Now these guys are going to take damage just by being in the field. And I'm holding them in that field. Ship ready. Who else has got one? You. And again, I'm going to hold these guys in the field. Hopefully, some of them go pop. At your command. Some of them should be escorts. Helm coordinates acknowledged. And if they're not escorts, they should have taken a right battering from that lot. Yeah, they they did. Enemy ship sighted. We are the Imperial Navy. All right. Oh no, ram ships. Bye bye. <laughs> Enemy ship sighted. Get it. Target locked in. Ow. Fuck you, ramship. 
targeting enemy vessel. Let's kill as many of their escorts as possible. Come on. Enemy ship sighted. Enemy ship sighted. Activating tactical cogitators. Cruising speed set. For the Emperor. Alright, this is going to get really messy really quickly. Okay, that's a little escort ship. We are the Keep on them. Who's jumping out? Somebody's jumping out. An orc ship's jumped out. Great! Forcing them to come through that then. Oh, and that one's jumped out too. Huh. Have all gone? Did they all just fuck off? I think they all just buggered off. Engines hot. Yes, they did. They all just buggered off. All of the big orc cruisers just fucked off because I just wiped out all of their escorts. I didn't know that that was a tactic. I I wow. Why did they all jump away? I killed six of their minor ships and it gave me 56 victory points from that. 100 for the victory, obviously. 79 for the bonus. Uh, yeah. I didn't need to kill many though. Oh, I'm almost at... Uh, I've almost uh, leveled up tier 5 as well. That's pretty cool. No ship upgrades this time. We just massacred all their escorts, forced them to come through an asteroid field and for some reason that forced all their big cruisers to jump the fuck out. Even before they'd made contact with us. I didn't know that that was an actual tactic to be uh, deployed against the Orcs. Oh well, never mind. Okay everybody, I'm going to say this has been turn 8, the end of turn 8. The Eye of Darkness has fallen into the enemy hands and we're probably going to have to get it back next turn. But in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you everybody for watching I've Been 4040. You guys have been amazing. If you enjoyed this, feel free to hit that like button. If you've not enjoyed it, feel free to hit that dislike button. In any case, let me know what you thought in the comments. See you in the next video. Bye now.